welcome back to another week and another video. Today I'm going to be sublimating a mermaid or sequin pillowcase with a mermaid design. I have my design here printed out on the text print R paper in reverse. I have my heat tape and you're going to need a sequin pillowcase. It will need to have a white side of the sequins in order for it to transfer correctly. Some other materials you'll need are a pillow form, some heat safe gloves, and a heat press for transferring the design. Once you've made sure that all the sequins have the white side facing up, you can line up your design, print it side down, and tape the edges with the heat safe tape. Once you have that ready, it's time to go make sure that you have your heat press set up. You're going to want to set it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and have the timer set to 50 seconds. Once that's to temperature, you want to make sure you have your sequin pillow sequin side up with your design print side down, taped on top of it, and place a Teflon sheet or non-stick sheet over top of that before pressing it for 50 seconds. When the 50 seconds is up, remove the design from the sequin pillow and let it cool before playing with the sequins. The last part is just filling the pillowcase with the pillow form and it's all done. I've decided to include a bonus craft for this video. It's not sublimation related, but I thought it was still pretty cool. It's a mermaid stocking made out of felt, so you're going to need the template that I've included in the description below, three sheets of felt, colors of your choice, some fabric paint, some scissors, a hot glue gun, some hot glue, and any other additional decorations that you want to use. I'm just going to start by cutting out the template. Once I have that cut out, I'm just going to use the template as a guide to cut out my felt. thing to cut out is just a piece of felt from one of the scraps for making a cuff at the top of the stocking. With everything cut out, it's time to glue everything together, start with the stocking, and glue everything but the top of the stocking together, and then I'm going to put the cuff on, just gluing it on the front, and then tucking the sides around to the back. For the tail, I've left some notes on the template so that you know where to line that up, but once you have those lined up, just glue them around the stocking, and for the little loop, for the stocking, just folding that in half and gluing it together, then you're free to decorate however you'd like. I'm using some glittery fabric paint as well as some seashells and some beads that kind of look like pearls, and I'll use a little piece of ribbon to make a bow. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next week!